Welcome back to learning as we play Crusader Kings 3. And we have just checked out in the last one a bunch of the new things introduced with the Tours and Tournaments DLC. And we had some fun. We 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 took some land. Finally, we have we have grown slightly. This this has been a long time coming. We were stuck, kinda landlocked here for a while. And wasn't really much place for us to move. Kiev over there holding strong against the Kagan. And still the the all the big empires around us have broken up. So there are a lot of opportunities for us. However, however, not enough. Something we could look into, and I probably should, is fabricate a claim over there. However, um, we got a lot of converting to do over there. So fabricating a claim is gonna be quicker. But it also costs us money to get, and we don't have money right now to buy a claim. So, we'll just stay here, look for other opportunities as they present themselves. We could just go there, but that's, you know, Ashari. And Ashari will absolutely whoop our ash. Our ash. That is what the Ashari would do. They would completely destroy us. So, we'll just meander a little bit through time. Engage in an opportunity or activity, maybe. Oh, let's see. Is there anything interesting for us to do? Ah, I really want to go on a pilgrimage next. I don't know why these are options for us. Like, these are clearly... We're clearly missing gold. Average cost. Like, can we, can we have these cheaper? I'm, I'm thinking we can have these cheaper. That's why they're still an option right now. Okay, something happened here. Uh, the Antelope of Afshar. He brings word of bees spotted in the realm. I'm hearing much talk of the county of Zanjan. It is said there are excellent prospects for hunting thereabouts. With the many a worthy antelope seen roaming the scrublands. Interesting. So we have a game sighting for that. So I'm assuming that a hunt there would be better. Now, should we check that out? I don't know. It costs us a hundred. I want to find out how this is possible. Like, how can we do this? We we want to go falconry again, or do we have to go hunt? Like, why do I have to make a choice without knowing? Like, we'll, we'll, we'll try. Okay, I don't see Sanjin anywhere. Where's Sanjin? Gilan, Lahi, there's Sanjin. Okay, so let's switch this for a hunt. And now there's Sanjin, antelope sighting, plus, plus, plus. Plus, plus, plus. Now that would lead us quite a way away. And this is better, is it? Plus no holding, so this is even better. So let's go for Afshar. Let's let's go visit our new realm a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking let's. I asked last time if anyone did the the route change or why and if they did. So we want a mountaineer. The cost is currently too high, so we don't want a mountaineer. Actually, uh, we we obviously maybe we want to. Can, can we kick out people of our entourage? Uh, yeah, we want a smaller size. Our intent is slay a beast. Absolutely. Our party size is very small this time. There are high chances of danger. Uh, cultural ambassador, maybe? Can we afford it? No. Unless... We go with the local gamekeeper. You hire someone to serve as a cultural in your journey to disseminate information about your culture. Or oh, okay, right that now, uh, customize the route. Let's add some stuff. Gilan and Abhar. 
and almut. That adds a whole lot of danger. High chance of danger, medium chance of danger, low chance of danger. <laughs> you know what? I think we're gonna do it. Or can we get guards, maybe? Instead of this. No, we can't afford it. Um, a mountaineer? Let's get a mountaineer, at least. Um, that, that, that seems like a good idea. Jungle danger. A forest guide, maybe? No, there are no forests that we're walking through. We can't afford this guy. So let's let's go like this. We have two people in our entourage. Uh, Ketivan is the caravan master, as it is tradition. And our daughter comes with us. Can we get our mayor to be the caravan master? Sumbat. Nahal. Nah. All right, uh, then let's start our hunt. We'll travel far and wide. And do, 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 I can't wait. I'm not going to read it every single time because most of the flavor text just kind of keeps as it is. Why are we going on the hunt? Honestly, I'm just playing around with any options. That That's all. Uh, travel, what the duck? The day on the road has been fairly calm and nondescript so far. We are somewhere outside Varsan, and I close my eyes as my mount brings me forward one solid step at a time. As the wind plays a magnificent melody through the treetops, another noise is carried by the breeze. And not from our entourage. Is that quacking? I isolate the sound to be coming from a shrubbery to my right. That's a good omen. We get duck quack. For five years, we could follow it. No, I'm, I'm thinking that it's just a good omen. Toll collectors. They don't look like toll collectors to me. We have stayed on the road slightly too long and the sun is starting to dip below the horizon. Out of the surrounding terrain, shapes start to merge in from angry looking armed figures. This arrow has a tall pay up, says the biggest and frankly ugliest of the bunch. My court catavan steps forward, my courtier, weapon raised, and looks at me for direction. Ah, of course, the toll. Perhaps a payment in blood. Catavan is potentially killed, wounded, or something. But we are kind of greedy, so. Perhaps you take payment in blood. Let, let's see. If Ketavan dies in Parvis or is maimed or wounded. Uh, spouse's ward. Wait. I would like. Why are we blinking like a lighthouse? I'm just, there's just a reflection there. It's like a helicopter with a backlight, just blinking away. A foreign treat. It is not the first time I catch my knight, Sevak, fiddling around with some flowers he's been picking along the road. Sometimes, I'd swear I even hear him sighing, overlooking Kalakal's holding. My liege, he says, when he notices that I've been observing him. It is not a secret that my heart has found a new home far away from home. Alas, my liege, my soul aches. For Navaba, my desires know no end. Her eyes, her hair, I long for just a salute. I die for a word. Please, I beg you, let me stay with her. Huh. You're coming with me, my man. Hmm. We have no time for this. We have enough room in our court and welcome you both. I'm thinking, yeah. Why would Amir Muhammad hate me for this? I'm just trying to help love. She, she can't come. It's crazy. Why wouldn't she be able to come? All right. As we wait the arrival of the rest of the guests, my servants can get started on the preparations. Soon. 
travel a new caravan master. Ketavan is no longer our caravan master. Died of internal injuries. Oh boy. Might I be responsible for that? My old caravan master shared a mortal coil when she died. Oh, that was a woman? Oh man. I feel terrible about all that. I'm so sorry. I am a mere prince of this realm. I know not what I do. Right, so do we take Navaba? I'm thinking we take Navaba. She joined us. She can do something. All right. Intent is to slay the beast. Uh, we assemble the men. Rumors were true. Let's get out there. Uh, I want to hunt something with them. Peril is middling. Prestige is middling. Success chance decreases. We'll seek a hyena or we seek the antelope. No, no, we came to hunt antelope. We'll, we'll, we'll hunt antelope. That's what we came for. Oh boy, what happened here? Poachers here in the Princess Dryland. They huddle together as a ride up with my guards, making poor job of hiding the dead antelope behind them. We did not do that. Please have mercy, glorious prince. Their blades and bows belie their words. They will hang. Which gives us punished poachers. People in this county bear the burden of making up poachers. Popular opinion goes down. Holding tax. Nah. Success chance. You seem to be excellent bowmen. Yes. Could get that. Could get that. I'm, I'm, thi I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, we get the poacher training. You all seem to be excellent bowmen. All right, my party stalk through a copse. Eyes peeled. It's a nestling screeching for its mother. Agile huntsman bring down a brings down a fluffy ayas. An unfledged raptor chick from the oak. What luck! Only young birds caught in the wild can be properly trained. Have it taken back to my muse. We get a hunting raptor for a while. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm not giving that away. Put it back. Success chance increases slightly. But it stresses us out. So, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll take that with us. Oh, we have found some tracks. First to spot its coiled horns. The cunning buck is hard to distinguish, but there's no doubt they're observing us through the spiny scrub. After it, we ride. This method is more perilous. Steady, mind the ditch. This way, we headed off. Could try and ambush it. Oh, we just learned something about the bow. Let's 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 try and do the ambush here. All right, we pad forward. Ah, oh, no, he he he. I have to leave you in a trap. I'm so sorry. It's just how it is. Everyone knows who rides with me. If you run into a trap, I'll just leave you for die, uh, for, for death. Hmm. The beast escapes. The beast is shot. Hold, he's mine. A random participant is. Let's see. Maybe maybe we can we can manage. We'll try and shoot it. Ah, we have completed it. I carefully take aim as the antelope bounds towards us. Who's pounding the scrub? The arrow strikes true straight to its beast's heart. That's how you do it. Found more raptor eggs. Uh, Taniel doesn't like us. We kicked him out. Yeah. That's fine. The modest prince. Uh, something, something. Oh, we got antelope horn. That's masterwork trinket. Amazing. Heeding the call of the wild is an adventure. And uh, I, I don't like this is happening while the game is paused. That, that, that confuses me. 
Heeding the call of the wild is an adventure, and this outing delivered the good and the bad in abundance. There's nothing quite like the thrill of bringing down a mighty beast. Uh, uh, carefully skinning the carcass with the direction. Uh, place the eager dog's share of the spoils on the stretched hide before departing for camp and home. Uh, we could give this to... No. No. Why, why would I... No. We will become the owner of the antelope horn. That's amazing. What's happened here? Why is he there? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, we gained dangerous beasts slain. Popular opinion goes up. We still have the... We lose the game sighting, but that's fine. Uh, we lost a whole lot of stress. We got some trait experience. And we got the antelope horn, which is pretty amazing. So let us finish our hunt. And make sure we got this thing set up properly. Uh, wait. There. And... That is... Okay. We have to put it somewhere here on a trinket. What do we remove? These are all pretty good. I'm thinking the terracotta fowl is like the least... Least great. Ah, now, the Armenian art of war. There we go. That's how we want this. That is how we want this. Might want to work on a crown eventually. Alright, let's uh, travel back home. Travel a duel demanded. I am Gilgavarwa of Gilan. I have bested dozens of men in combat and honestly all those fights were dull. So here I am on this road looking for someone better than me. Someone I can learn from. If you can best me in combat, I will become a valuable and loyal servant. And so on this day, I demand to meet one of you in a fair fight. Um, you might be less valuable after a win. Uh, there's a high chance of me not winning this. There's an even lower chance of our boy winning this. We could just trample him. But it takes us longer because we spend 30 days to trample this man. Apparently. That's... Okay, well, we'll, we'll try this. We spend 150 prestige. Everyone kind of hates us a little bit more. And we might become wounded. So... I'll, I'll try. I'll try. And we have been wounded. And he won. Um... Yeah. Everyone is mad. But... but uh, now this is a new event. Okay, this isn't even part of the last event. Okay, th these are coming at us. Like... Flies. That's crazy. As we trek through Sanjan, our caravan has stopped the clearing bordered by tall grass. I proceed to wood the commotion only to find Mara and Navaba having an irate row. I'll have no more of your ADC, you contemptuous fiend. Mara stamps her foot in the dirt. You are the one who has whined on this entire journey, squealing, Are we there yet? At every crossroads, Navaba retorts. Come now, surely, you two. Ah, oh, man. We'll try. We'll try. We'll try. I don't think it's going to happen, but... Nope. Navaba just runs away. And we get the choice between... Gakik and Sevak, who, who, who are dressing like twins. Alright. Uh, terrible, terrible. Everyone is terrible. So... Let's put in Sevak to take his mind off of his new love just abandoning us. Right, we're no longer wounded. That's great. You, uh, danger. This is fine. Traveling through the sometimes harsh environment has invigor invigorating effects on at least my state of mind and vigor. I glance over at Mara, who is my daughter and spy mistress. She doesn't appear to be quite as good. Um, we should let her rest and fully recover. Yeah. We can take a little bit longer on the route here. So we're just sitting there now. Ah, finally. The mayor. He can be the successor now to the thing that he was before. Alright. I've lost popular respect. 
All right, a faction has been created against us. I would like to check that out, but I think it's just a, yeah, populist. A life or death saved. Traversing the drylands of the Oscars, we are suddenly attacked by a swarm of bandit riders out for blood. Another set of riders rapidly approach from the nearby holding, led by Mayor Aspuresis. I'm very pleasantly surprised by the altruistic demeanor of the local mayor, and I praise God that they arrived just in time. Spurs circles back around for a victorious grin on his face. You should join us for some Armenian hospitality at Abhar. It would be my honor. Thanks for saving us, my boy. Now along the coast. Caravan has become lost in these foreign lands. So, let's see. Maybe maybe we can we can figure this out now. We have we have indeed figured it out. So we are sped along by my amazing wayfinding skills. Civic so is in charge of our soup, food supplies and sheeply should reveal our provisions are now all but useless, having been poorly stored. Patches of mold cover the bread and fresh produce. The partly grows hungry and dusk begins to fall. Nature will provide for us. The locals around here must have something. Um Oh boy. Yeah. Well, eight percent chance we die. That's a bit of a higher chance I'm willing to accept. But then again, our boy is ready to take over. So I think nature will provide for us. Either way it will. And we become ill. Alright. Okay, so if we're ill, we get this nice little shift here. We're not wearing our good gown. We're just wait wearing our sleeping thingy. One thing I notice as we pass through Varsan is that every other Persian is practically laughing at my last at latest attempts at logical argument. Reduces the cost of establishing the philosophical culture tradition by minus 1,000 prestige. Children are more likely to get the pensive trade, less likely to be rowdy, scholar trade. Nah, what can I personally learn? I'm greedy, I, I don't share. Oh, more toll collectors, eh? Um, Sevak, take care of that. Maybe you die, maybe you don't. We'll, we'll see. Time for treatment. Um, ah, do no more than is necessary and you've done well thank you very much now we just return home slowly but surely arrived i'm finally home there's nothing better than arriving bet at a run we have been out for 160 no 96 days and traversed 20 baronies uh we had a chance to spread acceptance for the armenian culture and never forget when Mayor Asperus Abhar came to our aid. So that's great. Gagik and Sevak leave our court. Alrighty. Our wife has recovered. That's good. So we're already increasing control where they are sitting with their populist faction. So we'll see. Um, I keep it short and professional. Minus twenty eight. It's it's going down. It's going down. Potential alliance negotiations. Okay, he doesn't want to yet, and we're working on him. Oh, one of our alliances died. That's why we have a potential for a negotiation there. That's not great for us. Can we get another? No, I can't get another. Oh, our boy likes us. Even better. 
He has a really high opinion of us because he has a minus 40 from not being on the council. And we are well again. Also good. Could hold a grand tournament. Oh, we gained additional taxes. Oh, stewards, good stewardship has done that. Nice, nice. <clears throat> a child of the dynasty, a great grandson. Good stuff. Uh, become a soldier. We need more knights in the realm. All right, let's check it around. Is there more religions that we might go and attack? Not really. Not really. We could try all these, but honestly, we would be absolutely obliterated by the Ashari. Uh, let's check our holdings. I'm thinking we're, we're potentially not building anything where we might. Okay, we don't have the money to upgrade our keep, but that might be a good idea. And nothing here we can afford either. Ooh, very good. Now we become gallant. Uh, let's quickly click that and learn what it does after. So, martial plus two, prowess plus four, monthly prestige plus 20%, attraction opinion, and accolade glory gain plus 20%. Okay. Um, local commoners are moving to Tau, the capital of Prince Grigor of Tau. Locals newly settled or not. Praising me can surely do no harm. Yeah, yeah. They can go help. Forge this new alliance here. That we do kind of need. So many wars. <clears throat> no, I don't want to see holy wars here. Are these all just holy wars? Ooh, nope. It appears, it appears to be so. Do we not have a... Do we not have a... Uh, truce? No? Well. Uh, yeah, no, we'll go for the duchy. We'll take this whole thing. I don't see a truce. Do you see a truth? Hmm. Let me just check something real quick. Outside here. There. Yeah. Okay, let's move our flag over to here. We'll muster out there. And we'll take them now. While we still can. <clears throat> And we'll march straight for his capital. Obviously, the fight will be over in just a moment. I really wish they would turn down the, the, the noise level of starting war. Good God. It's so loud. I always stop talking because it's just so loud. That's really the whole reason why I go quiet when this music goes. It's so loud. I say we're already at 50% because basically we have de deleted his troops. There's nothing left. 
So all we are required to do yet is take the holdings here. That's all that's left to us. Oh, I like the soul mage icon. That's cute. Hunting raptor. Duck quack. Philosophic. All the good stuff. Okay, yeah. I mean, the, the tours and tournaments make some sense. It's quite fun. And we put him in prison, so now we can immediately enforce our demands, take what we got, uh, pause this. Oh no. I might not have loved you yet, I fear for your posse. What are you, what are you talking about? This is our soulmate, however not, what? Our wife has died, that's, that's horrible. Okay, let's pause this. Let's take care of all these horrible, horrible events. Um, let's grant some titles to someone. Uh, who do we, who do we, how do we? Uh, court? Courtiers? Council? That's terrible. That's just horrible. Okay, my boy. It will I will just keep giving you those titles. That's simply what's going to happen. <clears throat> and since we don't have a wife right now, we can only have four. So let us make sure that we find a new wife here. The Duchy of... Paflagonia? Of Paflagonia? Paflagonia? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She. Uh, we'll have a grand wedding. Just because I want to try it. So let's go for that. Can't really afford a grand wedding, but... Still want to try. Excellent. Excellent. Bedroth can marry. Let's plan our grand wedding and disappoint kind of everyone. Must be organized before the promise expire. Okay. A bloody wedding? <clears throat> we do not have the accomplished forger perk. Okay, so... Not a bloody wedding, just a, a grand wedding. Uh, let's see. We have to check where. And these are... It's a capital. So this will give us money. <laughs> so we'll marry in our capital. Oh, God. The intent is... Recreation? Do you want to lose stress? Seduction? Diplomacy matchmaking? Seduction. Uh, can we seduce our potential new wife? Yes. <clears throat> That's great. I want to seduce our potential new wife. So, we'll confirm this. That's, a, that, that's great. I like that. Customize the route. Are we going anywhere? Uh, all right. Okay. <clears throat> we'll throw this down. Wildflowers will be fine. A modest feast will do. <clears throat> and... Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Uh, let's customize our... Do we need a, ha a mountaineer and that and all that? No. Like, okay, th there's nowhere to go. So, why would we want any of these? That's a bit weird. We have 122% travel speed because we're not going anywhere. Why do we have a caravan master? And why is it not someone who's actually good at that? So, let's... Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, acrobats and musicians. Home entertainment. What do we want? Opinion? 
Gain Gracious Host. This is amazing. But it's kind of expensive. Can't afford that. Shame. Mm -hmm. Fine. We'll try and go as big as we can. And we'll go for, for opinion rather than prestige. I'm thinking. Let's start our grand wedding. Is that happening now? We are unpaused, but... We are waiting on activity gates remaining 20. Okay, so we don't have the... We, we don't need to have this open. All right. Okay, she's, she's traveling toward us. My spies is informing that a hunter is causing a ruckus at a local tavern. Yeah, I would like to be more vigilant. Thank you. Someone's trying to kill us. She, she, she's taking a long time to get here. Three months until it begins. Alrighty, we'll just... Why can't we see her traveling? I would like that. Dangerous faction? Yeah, okay. Alright, I hear you, I see you. Another faction. But those aren't as good. It's just all these little counties here. Don't want to be with us. Can we do something like culture stuff? Domestic affairs? Uh, yeah, let's set him to domestic affairs. Ooh. Okay, the wedding starts. That's some good music and great art. I like this. It feels amazing when you have been planning for something for so long and spent so much money on it and then it's finally there. Everything is ready. The decorations are in place. The guests are mingling and servants scurry around with loaded dishes. I'm pacing around in excitement and nervousness when my future spouse, Yudokia, appears. Radiant in her finest attire. We're ready to begin. I cannot wait. Let's go. My head throbs with the noise of clattering furniture and chattering guests. The strain must show because my brother Count Taniel takes my arm and steers me into the next room. The sound of preparations dies away. We speak of small things. Time passed, people we've known, not a word about the wedding, and then we run out of words and fall silent. Enjoy a quiet moment together. Or tell Count Taniel how much it means to have him there. We're not so stressed. I think we, we can tell him how much we enjoy to have him here. We have become the owner of a fine battle axe. I pity you, father. Mara tells me what married life is like. Full of bickering, mistrust and strife in the end of any pace, peace. Like me and Leencius, she grumbles. Nah. She's perfect for me. We are a confident groom. Yes, we are. <laughs> Someone praise the baked truffles. Weddings are just politics. I steal myself as I wait for my future wife to join me. Just politics, I repeat to myself. How bad can it be? But nothing has prepared me for the moment. I finally see Yudukia for the first time. No portrait description could do her justice. The gentle look on her face. No poet has ever sung a beauty such as hers. Time hangs still when our eyes meet and everyone else seems to disappear. Then she smiles at me and I know everything will be alright. She gains 30 opinion of us. Man, that's great. She becomes our soulmate. <gasps> yes. All the good stuff. We fall in love at first sight. Oh. I mean, I mourn my lost wife, but... There we go. The preparations and rituals of a wedding ceremony are many. In a lull between them, I hear some snickering and scoffing coming from a group of Yud Yudokia's relatives. I really need to learn her name. 
When they see that they got my attention, Duchess Helene starts addressing me directly. How could we let this vile miscreant corrupt poor Oidokia? Um. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Of course, of course, of of course. Whatever you say, I I don't, I don't care. I am a humble man. We received flowers. Nice. As if organizing wedding worthy of my family's stature weren't stressful enough, I also have to deal with Eudokia's relatives. Her mother, Duchess Elaine, arrived bright and early today and has been following me around ever since, complaining about this or that non-stop, as I feel a splitting headache growing behind my eyes. She continues blabbering under to it. These flowers will make Eudokia sneeze, and this wool is too rough. What about the color scheme? I know that Eudokia wouldn't like it. Um, it's going to be fine. Just relax. Um, everything is so overwhelming. The decorations, the guests chatting, the rituals and the blessings come one after the other. Piercing eyes of my bride staring at me, judging my every move. They all blend together in a whirlwind of nervousness-inducing chaos until the moment we share our official promises arrives all too soon. Do I want to spend the rest of my life with Uidukia? Yes. Yes, I do. Nice. As the ceremony concludes and we all move to the banquet venue, I secretly smile to myself, picturing the joys to come from a married life with Eudokia. Now to everyone can be so lucky, marry such a likable person. I wish everyone to share in my happiness. Let's all tuck in. Alright, we got a new dynasty leg legacy through this. Faithful magistrate, title creation costs 20% less. Control growth, ah, that's pretty good. Uh, what else do we have? House of Warriors... Oh, there's more. Oh, boy. I'm thinking we'll go with faithful mag magistrates. Boy, I had to cough a little bit, so excuse the pause. I know I should be spending time with my new wife, Udokia, and her family, but I just can't tear myself away from my friend Vest. I can see Princess Udokia staring, starting to glare at me, but every time I try to excuse myself, Vest has me howling with laughter all over again. Udokia, join us. Gain the trait Confider. Um... So Vest becomes our best friend, but join us. Yeah. Oh, don't care. Come join us. All right. Everyone is friendly. Widely known. I feel like something just replaced something here. Okay, let's see. Featuring exotic treats, elaborate culinary artworks, and rich colors with richer scents, the banquet chefs have gone all out for the wedding. Near my seat, both do Doge Ramonos and Princess... Oh my god. Share their opinions about the spread. Ah, it's also beautiful, nods Romanos. A perfect melange of form and taste. I am having a good time, she whines. I just think things could have gone a little bit further to be the best. Um, not along. I'm, I'm not even paying attention. Just whatever you say. That's yeah, all good. All fine with me. We gained 30 piety. 
The banquet hall swimming is are beautiful and a medley of murals and rare flowers, even if they are not strictly the most expensive available. <laughs> like that matters. Near my seat, both Princess, whatever her name is, and Razmuhi share their opinions on the decorations. Ah, wonderful, chortles the princess. Enough frippery to make it special, not enough to outshine the happy couple. Honestly, I have to say I prefer a... He searches for a polite phrase. Heavier touch on the fripperies? I, I'm not, I just, I don't... I mean... I just... I'm, I'm not getting involved. How long is this wedding taking? My god. This is insane. Every feast, there's always one. Every single feast. One long-winded, elbow pissant, cornering people who just will not be silent. This time, it's Matthäus, and he is completely woefully self-absorbed. Our conversation is rife with hypocrisy, poorly thought-out ideas, and just plain idiocy. Yet the man is entirely convinced that he's some kind of fascinating social genius. I grin and bear it. We get a weak hook on him. We gain approachable courtly vassals. Minority vassal. Ah, uh, that's uh, very interesting. We'll go with that. Paragon of Georgia gained 25. All right, okay. Though not the absolute grandest affair, the evening entertainment are still an exciting array of actors, acrobats, jugglers, and more. Near my seat, both Princess and Razmui share their opinions. The perfect amount of performers to be seemly. Bah, whilst well, they're adequate, but they're hardly the spectacle I was expecting. I just... Why? How long is this taking? Alright, we got a royal gift of 30 gold. Our paragons are paragoning. The feast has started winding down and everyone is sated and tired. But the day is still not over for Eudokia. Eudokia. Eudokia and me. I'm so sorry, my dear wife. I will learn it eventually. A procession of guests leads us to our bedchamber, for the legitimacy of a wedding depends on it being consummated. Let us do just that. Oh no! Naked skin, avert your eyes now! Ah, how soft the skin of Princess Oidokia is, how delicious the smell of her hair. Certainly my wedding night is going to exactly how I expected and we quickly become devoted to the carnal sin. It is no longer sin, we are wed! Such is our passion that without paying attention to the candles that scarcely light the room, I accidentally knocked on w down one with my foot. Don't stop, my dear. But God has different plans for us, and the hay mattress is quickly lit by fire. <sighs> this is my moment to shine. We gain the trait wounded. Yeah. Uh, it's we increase our prowess by one. The fire in the grate has started to weather, and I stare at its flames in silence. The light is warmth. Princess Oidokia is searching for something in a wooden chest, and I take the eyes off the flames and look at her. Zahak, she says, offering me a small package wrapped in silk. I have saved this since I heard of our betrothal, and now I offer it to you as a token of my love. You will become the owner of a marriage prayer brooch. Um, we also have something for her. I think you are my you are my greatest. She's our soulmate. That is the correct way to reply. As the banquet reached its climax, Oidokia is growing. Uh, her growing anxiety over the imminent bedding ceremony was clear. My new wife turns to me as the procession sets off to her chamber. Please. Can't we do this without um, zero percent chance? She concedes. Uh, we'll go for barred batting. Diplomacy goes down. Okay. 
Mara and other witnesses will hate us for it, but leave us. The room is ours. Oh, Doki and I are led to the chambers. Did, did we not just already... I'm sorry. The, we already... Okay. Bishop blesses our martial bed. Our marital bed. Not our martial bed. That's, that's a very different thing. Entirely. Before tucking us in. Oh, he's tucking us. The bishop is tucking us in. That's so precious. Pouring cups of strong spiced wine and directing us to drink them. We gaze each other happily and the party starts to be hard. At lone, at last. Before the door shuts, me, brother Taniel, cries. Atta boy! Come here, I've been waiting for this all night. Um, we are humble, so we're a little bit stressed there, but... Absolutely, we'll go for our wife. Again. Alright, when finally the last guests leave, I look around at the deserted venue, the food leftovers, the spilled spiced wine on the floor, the echoes of people's laughter still lingering in the air and feel satisfied. It was an amazing day. I did a, a very fine job organizing it. Okay. We gained a lot of prestige, trade experience, an eager reveler. We got some gold. We got some stuff. We gained, celebrated a grand wedding for 20 years. That's a lot. Um, and we married our princess. Let us finish the grand wedding. That was a lot of stuff happening there. Holy heck. A lot of stuff. Oh, they are fighting a rebellion, are they? Can't declare war. Don't have a castle spell against them. Alright, fine. Could do a grand tournament, but I'm done reading for today. Oh, great. Cool. So... We just had our grand wedding, and there we are taking a day after said wedding. Prince Sahak of Georgia rests in the arms of the Lord at 66 years of age. He died of old age. A keen and dedicated hunter, he loved to spend entire weeks in the wilderness looking for the most elusive game. Prince Yovanes ascends the throne, having mastered many skills. He's sure to be admired by all his subjects. Why do I feel like that's not true? <laughs> All right, let's take care of uh, administrative stuff real quick first because we have a whole lot more holdings than we should have. We're also currently doing something. We're, we're, we're traveling somewhere. Um, why? What are we traveling for? I don't know. Are we are we hunting? What are we doing? It doesn't tell us. It just says we're traveling. Um... Lifestyle chosen. Uh, so we have the learning experience, but we could also go for Marshall. Um, there's one for us to unlock immediately. So I think we'll we'll go we'll go here. It's not ideal, but it's good, especially since we're going to go with the medicine focus to kind of follow in our father's footsteps. He was a warrior, a, a soldier, so patching these people up, I think, uh, would have been pretty pretty sensible. And we're going to go for the whole of bodies. So anatomical studies uh, is what we're going to go for. We're, we're interested in medicine. Okay, empty council position. The whole council is just empty. Let's see. So, right. Our steward should definitely be um, uh, Mayor Margaret again. She's done a great job for our deceased father. Mayor Levon of Gilan, maybe. Uh, our uncle and vassal should have a job. But he's not good at anything. Well, he's not going to get a job then. Uh, the Mayor Hofseb will have one. And the Mayor Levon will absolutely be our marshal. Like there's, there's just no two ways about it. Could switch them out. Ah, nah, he's gonna hate us for it. All right, fine. We'll just leave it as as such. Where's our wife, the spouse regent, Princess Mariam of the Armenian Principalities? Where is she? Why why do we not have? An available spouse. Are you like ruling something? Or 
what's going on here? No, you're not ruling anything. Hmm. Anyway, uh, our player heir, son, he is a believer. So let's select the focus for you. Let's throw you at education then. And do we get someone like that? Shepherds of the Romans. What's that? Is that like a mercenary company? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Let's get that alliance going, shall we? I don't know if mercenary company alliances work like all the others, but that would be great. So, faction targeting us has been disbanded. We have a new bishop who likes us. Advice regency. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's do the Regency thing. Uh, scales of power. All right. So we're going that way, kind of, slowly. Um, give him a mandate. He's going to go for the men at arms. And we're not going to dismiss his, him as a regent. And this, keep an eye on the scales of power. All right, so we, we'll have to look at this from time to time, apparently. Where are we going and why? We're trying to sway a man for no particular reason that's clear to us. Uh, we can ask for claims. Don't care. Can't do anything about that. Could have some negotiations here. Um, We're, we're, we're a lot closer now to this, so I think we're going to sway him. Let's, let's stop whatever swaying we're doing there and go to swaying for him. And now we need to take care of all of our uh, titles here. So we'll grant him just all these titles over here, basically, this whole thing. Uh, new size is five out of four. And... Okay, let's do that first. Let's pause. Oh, we lost our marshal through that. Okay, that's fine. Ah, it's not fine. That was a good marshal. Damn. Uh, let's let's put him in, so we could swap these out, as well. Uh, so we could swap these. He is an okay marshal, but he is just a much better uh, diplomat. So that way, we get this done. Uh, we still want to convert the faith, so you're working on that. Uh, promote the culture. Promote cultural exception. I think we want to increase our development a little bit. It's more interesting right now. So a spy mistress... I mean, there's better options, but for now, we might just leave it at that. Uh, right. I don't understand this. Wait, why Why do we not have a spouse that we can put here? That's just... Okay, so we, we formed this alliance now. So if I were to go and, say, declare war against them... For her claims, which, which, you know, um, our wife and regent would get the kingdom of Armenia, uh, of, of Georgia, uh, or the Armenian principalities, which is nothing, basically, but we could go for that. Our allies aren't counted in this, but will they join? I don't know. But now um, the the planning ahead uh, has come to some fruition because we could press this claim for the Kingdom of Georgia for our beloved wife and our regent and go ahead and, you know, finally become king that way. Or, or rather our, our son would, our heir would. We wouldn't. She would just reign next to us. 
But that's a way of, of dealing with things. I, I might just want to do that eventually. Uh, foreign trait. All right. Uh, we, we have read a bunch of these before, so I'm going to simply go through the choices that we have. And this one has the most green stuff. Uh, there's nothing really interesting here. We could have someone to join us. One of our knights. We don't want to lo lose him, so we're going to ask both of them to join us on the travel here. I still don't know why we're traveling, and I don't know how to figure it out. A dangerous faction has been created. Okay, independence is not good. I uh, will have to look at that in a moment. Traveling is wondrous. But homecoming is ever sweeter. Okay, we... I don't know what's going on. Uh, uh, all right, these are just these. This is just rabble. Th these are not actual. These are not actually a problem. They are nuisance. A big nuisance, but a nuisance nonetheless. Our sway scheme ends because the man just died. Okay. Nothing to be done. We become known as the generous. Also. Um, they call you Prince Johannes the generous, spectacular, is it not? It's on the lips of the peasant and noble alike. It calls for celebration. That's great. Thanks. Don't know why they didn't explain that, but we'll take it. I don't think titles like that do anything. The nickname doesn't really do anything. It's just something people call us. All right, all right, okay, slow down. Uh, we have arrived, thank God. I, I still don't know what we traveled for, but... Okay, let's uh, have this betrothal here. With the Catholics of Leon. Uh, Levon. The intersection is still clear. So now that we're home, can I can I deal with my wife again? No. Now we can. There we go. Okay, this was because we were traveling. Uh, so we don't want you to assist us. We want you to go manage the domain. That gives us more stewardship, but it's still not enough to get this going. So instead, we will have to give another title to our boy. Which is possibly a good and possibly not so great, ad great an idea, but that's what we're going to do. Let's modify your contract. You are protected from title revocation. No, you're not, but uh, you may declare wars inside. No, you may not. Uh, we'll leave it at it as what it is. That's that's fine. Okay, empty council position because I kick just... I keep kicking everyone out. That's important to me. Always the marshals that have to go. <sighs> hmm. Fine, uncle. Go ahead. He's probably not going to do well, but he gets his job. Okay, we could do a grand tournament, which we're absolutely not going to do. Uh, let's negotiate this alliance at home with our son. Marvelous news. So that's well taken care of. Your nephew-in-law. Hmm. Why is he so ill declined, inclined all of a sudden? He was he was looking better. Okay, let's start swaying him. And before we get into it any deeper, we'll leave it off here. And we are very young, so there's a long reign for Prince Johannes the Generous ahead, who is a learned man who is trying to learn more about, you know, travel safety. And supply duration. No, actually, he's he's working on uh, figuring out health stuff. A medical man, a learned man. Right. So, the the, the grand marriage was a grand affair. Uh, we also still have to take care of all these. Oh, let's let's take care of all of this. My God, there's so much. Uh, so the fertility plus ten percent. That is not bad. Aran Shahik Broch. Princess Joens Brooch. Um, 
Masterwork, Marriage, Prayer, Brooch. Piety goes up. Spouse Opinion plus 15. That's great. Uh, let's kick this trinket out. We don't need the martial lifestyle experience. And let's instead bring in... Let's bring in the Marriage Prayer Brooch from our father. Let's kick the Pressed Orchid out and bring in the Antelope Horn instead. And I think that's really all we can do for now. Weapon though. Uh, the Fine Battle Axe that we got. This is a little bit better than what we have. This just gives us three prowess. And this one gives us three prowess and enemy fatal casualties. It's not really that we need it all that much, but it's definitely better. Um, right, so I've seen all these. Why is this still highlighted? Do I have to click on them? I don't want to click on them. Um, right. So we could... Give them reforge or repair. Uh, there's a bunch of clay mounts on that. Assistant spy master. Uh, can I give you this? Give artifact. The what is this? Princess Joanne's brooch. Only 14 opinion. It's fine. I don't need it. Have it. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I had no good reason to do that. I just felt like, okay, let's get rid of something. And, and I did it. Sometimes I do things just to do them, you know. Such is the way of things. Alright, and we are angling to fight Georgia. For the Kingdom of Georgia title. Now, something to consider here is that these don't seem to be counted into that. And it might be, it might be that if they're hired, they can't join us. I'm thinking. So, these are the Shepherds of the Romans. Or they can't join us because it's the same, uh, the same culture. Let's check this real quick. So, if we declare a war here, will they join us? No. It, it appears not. So, let's check the mercenaries. How, how does it do mercenaries? The shepherds of Rome. Where are they? Hi. Am I blind? Only two are already hired. Where are the shepherds of Rome? I don't see them. They're not a holy order either. Well, they're not our holy order. So maybe they're a holy order for someone else. How do we figure that out? The Shepherds of Rome. It doesn't tell us. I mean, Mercenary Company is pretty self-explanatory. So, All right. We'll see about all this later. We'll have to build up our strength. But we'll have to build some uh, new and old alliances uh, to potentially take on Georgia. Because as it stands right now, they would uh, outdo us heavily. But they do not have any allies. That, that definitely helps us. So, um, yeah. The two Georgias will eventually unite and become only one Georgia. And we will just try and expand our realm as best we can and i thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like and leave a comment if you would have done something differently or maybe your vision of a grand wedding isn't as bleak as mine where it feels like it's just stress and very little else let me know and do you ever give away artifacts or do you just hoard them even though you might not be able to use them I wonder. Let me know. Bye-bye.